Yo, what's going on guys? Shivana got some really nice buffs, so she's feeling pretty good right now. Her highest win rate build is actually at a 64% win rate, and that is to rush down a Shoujin first item and then build AP. So it is a hybrid build. For this, once again, you do want to go Shoujin into a Leandris, into a Shadow Flame. After that, things get pretty situational. You can push Robot on, you can get Void Staff, you can go Cosmic, but basically the point is, Shoujin gives a lot of ability haste, guys. Loads of useful stats for Shivana as well. The AD health, very good. 20 ability haste plus 15 more ability haste for our non ultimate abilities, most importantly, E. So, effectively, we have 35 ability haste on E. This build makes Shivana incredibly dynamic since both of her first items give her loads of HP. It lets you frontline, tank, and do a little bit of everything rather than just being a backline carry. But still, there's no way getting around it. Her first five levels are terrible. For your runes, take Dark Harvest, Sudden, Eyeball, Treasure Hunter, Transcendence Gathering with attack speed, AP, and flat health. Scaling health is okay, but you mainly need to survive the early game, which is why you take Ignite. To give yourself more solo defensive power in your own jungle because you don't want to be dying in your jungle get q level two we'll go auto into q full clearing on shivana is the way she's super level six reliant her early game is not good she's got some of the worst ganks in the game some of the worst solo potential in the game but once she is level six and up that's when things heat up my q was about to be up when I started that camp, so I waited a second before I queued so I could auto Q reset. Your E gives you on hit damage, and so does your W. You want to maximize that. Our Q applies on hit effects twice. But traditionally, things like uh, Bork and Nasher are very good on Shivana because of that. Now, the Nasher Shivana AP build is still completely viable, very good. This is just currently her highest win rate build because it gives her. It smooths her out better, for sure. With all the extra ability haste you get. In health. Nasher leaves are really squishy, so if the enemies do focus you, it's easy for you to get bursted. Auto E, auto into Q. We really do want to get this into bush though. That way we can see. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this out. We'll hit it with a smite. I want to get to my next camp. You want to focus the target you have your E on. I didn't want to E the red buff, he's already almost dead. Your E lasts for quite some time on them, five seconds, and we could have killed him in just like two. So we finished our full clear roughly 314. I'm very happy with that. Full H, well, high HP, full clear, no potion needed. Not quite full HP. Just thinking about a third health. Not sure where their jungler is at. I haven't really been paying attention in the minimap too much. So Shivana ganks are kind of bad. You don't get punished as much for not looking at the minimap early on. Might be able to do something bot side. My ignite's up. We kind of have time to gank and still get to our gromp on time. Yeah, we'll try something here. W got E into him. He's ignited. I mean, it is what it is. They healed. That's a Shivana gank in a nutshell. You run up with W speed up. Hit him with an E and pray you can get an auto range. I thought I was going to get stunned underneath turret, which is why I didn't follow it in. For side and back, we'll grab a dark seal. And we'll go ahead and grab this. We need oracles as well. Let's W out of base. She just dies. Doesn't really matter. He's going to scale just fine. So you're just going to die a lot early on because he gets so much CS from his proxy and poison nonsense. Leaving base, we're using our W to get to places sooner. Now, sure, we might not have it immediately when we get to our camp. That extra movement speed is pretty useful. Gwen's low. Cinch is going to be fine when he gets back. She only has a Dark Seal as well. Or a Doran Ring, I should say. I'm not even going to check that Scuttle. I assume it's gone. She's 28 CS. That's a full clear plus Scuttle. Every camp, including Scuttle, is worth 4 CS total. I already know that Scuttle's gone. You generally don't invade on Shivana unless you know for a fact, especially early game, you know for a fact the enemy jungler isn't there. Because her solo capabilities are that weak. And her escape potential, it's only her speed up on W. And if you're not hitting things with your autos or Q, you're not extending the W duration to where it's more of offensive mobility than defensive mobility. Particularly level one. <laughs> it's only so good. Be consistent. Don't be afraid to full clear. If your teammates are harassing you, just mute them. They're begging for ganks. That's not what Shivana does early on. It's just full clear gank, full clear gank. 
Now, if you do see a free gank and you're at least level three and you know for a fact you'll get a kill out of it, sure, go to it. But those situations are pretty rare with Shivana. Now, this build does kind of hurt your dragon stalling potential early on since you don't have the attack speed. I think it's a worthy trade-off. Get him with an E. I canceled the Q. I thought his stun was up. Sure enough, it is. We need to leave. I don't know where their jungler is. Smolder's so freaking weak. Seraphine's weak. This is a hard lane for me to gank for. Belveth did just take the grubs. I'll go ahead and take uh, Scuttle Crab then. I'm not coming bot again until I'm six. It's a complete waste of time. Complete waste. We're almost six. I don't feel like showing here though is the thing. Yeah, Belvest right here. She's looking to gank my bot lane. I got Scuttle. She got seen on it. She was checking to see if I was doing drag. It's one of the only good things about Shivana's early game is she is fast at taking drags if you go Nash her setup. But this setup with the Ruby, certainly not as fast. We miss out on the on hit. We are going to be hitting a pre-7 minute 30 level 6. That's pretty good. Still had our E on it, so I don't mind autoing it. Got our R. Nice. Double kill. Belveth doesn't have boots, so she's kind of slow. She has 1,300 gold spent. You don't really count jungle item with gold spent since it does nothing against champions. I think Sins just wants to proxy. I'm fine with that. Yeah, it's whatever. Now that we are six, we can go bot and destroy them. Squishy characters are food for Shivana. Fish food. Alright, I guess I go take a red buff. Sins needs to get the wave. Good chance Belveth doesn't go for him because it is singed. She may not check if she doesn't see it on the minimap, the little gold icon still here. Even without smite, we can get it. We can use R as an auto reset, use the damage, finish it off if need be. She's just not over here, man. Belveth might be on dragon. She's bot side. She's not top right now. She's, she's, she's bot side. She's not mid. Probably even drag. Yep. Exactly what's going on. Mid's not gankable at all. Oriana's sitting 10 years away behind turret. I have zero kill participation. That's a good flash, actually. Belveth might have had flash and gotten into range. She has taken her blue. She's very low. I'll go ahead and smite this. Head on over. Hey, Belveth. Whoa! She can go over that wall? Holy crap! That's a big jump. She has Rift Coral, but still, that's a big old jump, man. That's a thick wall. Oh, well. we'll go burn her out with an E if we can reach it. Alright, it is what it is. Learn something new. Like, I knew Belveth could go over walls. I didn't know she'd go over a wall that thick. It was bizarre. Alright. We go with an E. Wow, she's greedy. Lux timed that really well. Really well timed. I've got a Lux and a Seraphine. Just try to stop my recall. There you go, buddy. Sit on that. We need to take these bugs so she doesn't get Rift Coral. Now that she's six and up, her getting bugs is a big deal. A single one will give her a Rift Coral. It's a big deal. Yeah, Gwen's here. I can't stop him by myself. They are going to reset because I pulled him out far enough. It's 
Gonna buy some time. Got her with an ignite. She's pretty tanky though. Going R for this. Boof. Got him with an E. That was super sketchy though. Dude, that was so sketchy. I'm almost dead. I needed a luck shield or something. Uh, I guess I'll continue to farm this. Nice. The Lux is beating the tar out of her. I'm trying to get this so Belveth doesn't come back here and get a huge gas tank because she gets a minute. She gets three minutes of empowered Rip Coral and it also gives her that big gas tank for her to use. Auto in the queue. Very nice. All right, it's time for me to back. Sitting on 3k gold, way too much. It's very rare you should ever have this much gold ever. Hey, we can play the game now. Spirit of Shoujin, Ability Haste. With Shivana, it's normally Sork Shoes angle. Super slow pace, champion. Keep your Dark Seal stacks up. This is not worth. My bot lane has shut down gold. If they trade here, it's a bad trade. Even if they kill both of them. If just Seraphine dies, then it's worth for the enemy bot. I can come on over here. I don't think it's warded. Nice. Yeah. I mean, I have Spear Shoujin. I'm pretty strong. Going W in. Catch her with R. Got with Smite. The auto Q. I missed my E like a ding dong. She's, she gets away there. Even if my E landed for having a flash or whatever. This is weird. Why is she trying to fight me right here when I'm near my teammates? Smolder died. What the heck? Boof. Got it. <laughs> Look how much damage that did even with our spear. Because our E does have some 80 scaling. Spicy. Oh, this is bad. We can't fight this. Zeras here. Drag is up in 25. I'll grab red buff. Heal up. Belveth's kind of healthy right now. Although she's not a full item. Tempting to smite this to keep my health up. Look how fast we're ripping through it though. I can't help, I don't have drag form. I gotta get my drag form up real quick. My autos and cues. Still not quite up. Oriana's going for turret. She's about to walk into me, huh? Oh yeah. There it is. Get her with R. EQ. I think my Q missed because I'm a ding dong. Uh, I think she's dead if your shield's not back up. Ah, that sucks. Unfortunate. There you go, Gwen. Use her ability on that. I have to reset for drag. Hopefully, my teammates can stall it. I don't actually feel fed. I <laughs> have assists, no kills. My botlin's killing everything. My goodness. My goodness. The enemies are going to get real depressed getting crushed that hard. It's really... That is rough losing to Seraphine in lane. Seraphine's early game isn't that great. They may not care though because Smolder's so bad late game. We'll see. Go for Q max second. W max last. W max seconds fine, Q max seconds fine. I prefer the Q max second because getting it on a lower cooldown feels more exponential since every auto puts it on a lower cooldown. To where it almost feels like you can perma spam it when you're in combat. Why are we leaving a ward up? Both my range supports walk past this. I think they could hit that over the wall. Oh, she got Harold. That's what's go that's what's going on here, bro. What are you doing, my my guy? <laughs> I'm not even gonna use an E on him. There's no point of using an E on this guy. 
Let's take drag. Wow, she's tanky with that damage reduction. Rip through that, my goodness. Auto Q. Ooh, we're hard losing this fight. We need to kite towards Scuttle. Velvet's low. I don't have anything. I need my drag form. Some weird wards over here. Zerath's not particularly low. Kind of just need a minion to hit. I want that smart kill. Wow. Oh. All right. <laughs> I got my. Wait. Does smite not apply dark harvest anymore? I smited him and I didn't get it. Get him with an EQ. Down she goes. Got two dragons on her team. Spicy. The nice thing about this build is even if your team is already has some magic damage, like we're kind of magic damage heavy, we can still get away with it because Spear Shojin is physical damage. And our W is physical scaling, E has physical scaling, our Q physical scaling. The only thing that doesn't have physical scaling on Shivana is her R, so. It doesn't feel bad at all having some physical damage items. They've buffed her a lot over the past season or two. Oh, get this chick off me. Oh, it's a bad Belvet flash, that scumbag. She's gonna die for it. Gwen's in no man's land. She's got nowhere to go. Whew. Now we get Leandris. Super cost effective, 3,000 gold, no wasted man. It's all AP, HP, max health, burn. The suffering and torment. Both really good with our E, because our E does damage over time in dragon form. So it uh, kind of gives us that 6% bonus damage on everything from suffering, and then the, keeps reapplying the torment. I rebuff up in 17. It's not the 20 minute mark, so it's not going to give it to my whole team. I think it's 14 or 15 minute mark. It adds just one extra buff when you take it. You're, it leaves the residue for your teammates. So here it should leave a blue buff residue. Maybe it's when your jungle item is finished is what it is. Most junglers finish jungle item around their level 10 or 11. Ripping through these camps so freaking quick. Alright, I'm on my way. Wait. Wait! Oh, hey, Zerath. I missed my E on him, but he's still dead. <laughs> Auto Q. Get him with the E. Got him. Speed up into a Q. Drop the E on her. Bro, this chick will not die. Smolder was doing <laughs> such a little damage. Good kite out. Nice. Pretty good fight for us as a whole. I need heal cut for Gwen or Zhonya's because when she hits you with her R, she turbo heals. She throws all those needles through you real quick. It makes the machine gun noise. Oh, she lands that. It hurts. This is typically where you go for Shadow Flame. You might say, why not Storm Surge? First of all, Shadow Flame is a higher win rate. And if you're wondering why, way more AP. 25 more AP. More ability, ma more magic penetration. And uh, I think Squall's slightly over nerfed on Shadow Flame. It's still a good item as a whole. Its main drawback is since it's inexpensive at 2,900 gold versus 3,200, it can only be so strong. But if I was going to a fight and I could only afford Storm Surge instead of Shadow Flame, then sure, I'd go Storm Surge and I'd want to win that drag fight or whatever. To keep maxing my Q second. I like the Q max. Movement speed goes from 30 all the way up to 50 when max. It's not a huge difference per level. 
only a 5%. I can R through that. He's got a plant to play off of. I'll let him go. We can't kill Gwen by ourselves. Gwen's a monster soloist. Smolder auto him, you ding dong. She's right here. We need to finish Gwen. Down she goes. Alright, we, we, we win this drag fight. They're trying to decide if they want to fight it or not. It's kind of funny. I have to go back into the fight. Peel for the Seraphine! Belveth going inside middle of the fight is generally a bad idea because it takes so long and we can hit her while she's doing it. Viego, on the other hand, is supposed to do that like 9 out of 10 times because he gets his R back. And he gets to come back out with his abilities up or whatever. But Belveth in team fights 9 out of 10 times isn't really supposed to jump inside of someone in the thick of a fight. And people are going to say, oh, but it heals her. Oh, but it does some true damage around her. It, it's not that much. A single auto attack from her is basically more damage than it even does. She's been nerfed a lot. She's hard to bounce due to her incredibly high mobility and having damage reduction on an ability in her kit as well. Kind of the same boat as Master Yi. I really shouldn't be over here. This is dangerous. Crossing over through the turret. They all know I'm here now. That's good. Nice. Belveth damage reduction saves her again. So freaking strong. Whew. Question is, do I do we go heal cut here? And the answer is yes, right after Shadow Flame. Right after Shadow Flame. I mean, she is two full items. I'm two full items tier two, but she's two full item tier two. She's two item tier two. Two item tier two. I'm not even fed. I'm really not. It's because they're getting shutdowns. The only one who has a shutdown still singed. Drag Soul Wincon, baby. It's Earth Drags too. Those are some of the better ones. Because it's percent based scaling. They have a really bad answers to Sin. She's too quick. If they're not able to land one of their finicky skill shots like Senna Snare, Zura Stun, or Belveth Knockup, which is going to be challenging to land, then Sin is going to keep running around in fights. I don't have my drag form up. I don't like this fight. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's nothing left for us here. We don't have the minions to do this. Zerath can solo clear it. We need Baron if we're going to siege a turret. Or my dragon. If I have my drag form, we can do it. I'm trying to save my E because we're about to go in. Five second cooldown. That's nothing. Oh my gosh. Seraphine missed. Nice. If I could see him, I could kick him off the way. I can't see crap. He just took over 700 damage total from that. Boof! It, she blocked my E. That's so annoying. I might have actually killed Zurath. Alright, I'm going to get my drag form back up. I need more, more biomass to hit. Hit the turret. Oh, that's bad. Wait, I'm taking the turret. Oh my God. We ran out of minions. <laughs> Gwen's so freaking busted. We don't have minions. There's no minions. We can't even end here. Zerath's alive. There's no way to end. 
There's zero way we end here. It's just a pointless fight where they have turrets and and base speed up. There's five red buffs for us though. 20 minute mark plus. Taking any buff. Me or my allies gives it to the whole team. Going R in and E. Boof. Fight me. Boom. Bop. Look at that. We're tanky, man. Double health off uh, Shojin Leandri's. Got a lot of a lot of burst and a lot of shred. Shivana is definitely in a good spot right now. If you play towards her win condition of hitting level 6 without dying and hitting level 6 before 7 minute 30, she's sitting real pretty. Let's look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, not having the most gold in the game and having mostly assists, we dealt the most damage against champions. On a champion that can't really gank pre-6 and stack up damage against enemy champions pre-6 either. I'm very surprised. I thought we were going to be top three. was not expecting top one damage dealt. That's freaking fantastic. For damage taken, we also took the most in the game. And for self-mitigated, we self-mitigated the second most in the game. Belvet 6k more. What was the damage taken again? We so Okay. So if you do count self-mitigated, she technically took more damage than we did by about a thousand or two. So... It is what it is. For runes high value, Shivana, man, if you're disciplined and you're willing to mute your teammates, I think she's in a really good spot right now in a solo queue environment. She feels fantastic on her power spikes. Her two item power spike in particular, the sh Shoujin with Leandris, feels so freaking good. If you guys enjoyed this Shivana video, let me know what champion you want to see next down in the comments below. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.